Hi there, Helen here from helensheartcreations.com and welcome to my the video today and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube, cha YouTube channel please do um, down below and press the notification button to make sure that you don't miss any of these uh, fun Stampin' Up! Vi videos. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK. Just want to tell you a bit about that. Uh, I don't know about you but uh, one, well, one of the things that attracted me to Stampin' Up! was all the colour coordination. I was, uh, I just get frustrated because I would find some pattern paper or some designer series paper that I really loved at the store. And then I'd come home and I didn't have a piece of cardstock that really matched it or really looked good with it. It either detracted from the design or just didn't show it off to its best. And then a friend of mine introduced me to Stampin' Up! And that was the first thing that uh, I, I really loved was the fact that all their colours, their, their range of 53 unique colours are coordinated with their other products. So I've just selected three here. This is Daffodil Delight, Pool Party and Calypso Coral. But as you can see, there, for, the, for these um, ink pads, there is the matching paper. So that is cardstock that is also Daffodil Delight. There is, for Pool Party, there is also Pool Party cardstock. And for Clipso Coral, there's the Clipso Coral cardstock. But not only that, it coordinates with other products as well. So we have other colouring tools. Now, not every colour is in Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol markers, but um, many of them are. So Pool Party, there is, there is always a light and a dark to give you that ability to shade with the alcohol markers. Calypso Coral. And, uh, and and Daffodil Delight, light and dark. Now, we have other colouring tools as well. There are watercolour pencils. I don't happen to actually have any of those. But we also have Stamp and Write markers, which are the watercolour-based uh, markers, as opposed to the alcohol-based of the, of the blends. Now, Pool Party, Daffodil Delight and Calypso Coral, I don't happen to have the Stamp and Write markers in those colours. However, I do have crushed curry, which can be used to coordinate or as a substitute with the Daffodil Delight. I have Coastal Cabana, which can be used with Pool Party. And I have Flirty Flamingo, which complements Calypso Coral. So you don't have to worry if you don't have the exact colour. You can always find something in your stash that will work with it. Um, the other thing is that our designer series papers, they all come, they are also colour coordinated. This is from the Bird Ballad Suite and with this you can see why I have chosen Daffodil Delight, Pool Party and Calypso Coral. Now there are others in the series. They, each pack of designer series paper comes with 12 sheets, double sided uh, to each, six double sided sheets, two of each. And one side will have um, pattern on it, the, the, the design on it, the other one will be coordinating patterns. So this happens to be petal pink. Well, how do you know what colours do coordinate? Well, we've thought of that as well. So on the back sheet of every single. Um, pack of paper. I don't know if you can see right in there, but this is the list of colours that do coordinate with the designer series paper called Bird Ballad. Do you have to have all of these colours? No, not at all. Don't worry about it. You just look through what's the project you want to make, which are the key colours that you would like to emphasise. Do you already have them? If not, then you, you can order them or find a similar substitute as I did with my Stampin' Blends to match these three or coordinate with those three down there. So why am I playing with these today? Well, actually, one of the things that um, I find in several of our papers this year is that they lend themselves to fussy cutting. So some of, the, some of these sheets, such as this one, it's fairly obvious that you can cut out some of the individual birds. I cut this guy out. I absolutely love him. <laughs> He's so cheeky. So very cheeky. 
Um, but also, you know, any of them will lend themselves to being fussy cut to get the images out to use differently, not necessarily just as solid pieces of paper. So um, the thing about fussy cutting is that you really need you need really good scissors. These are our stamp and snips. Um, what constitutes good scissors? They need to be very sharp um, and and quite thin. And if they're small, if you're going to cut details, then you need a small pair of scissors. But they must cut right to the very tip. When you just put that tip on a piece of paper, you know, with, with scissors that aren't really sharp, the paper just bends, right? You don't actually cut it. But this bit here, pointed and actually cutting right to the very end. Now, people have different levels of skill with um, fussy cutting. They, everyone will tell you, move the paper, not the, um, not the scissors. But when it comes to intricate details like the feet here, you may not feel comfortable. I mean, the really skilled people will go in between there and leave those skinny little legs and feet and claws um, of the bird and do that quite successfully. Well, I don't quite have that courage. Now, as you can see, this came from a white background and that would look rather stark on a project, I thought. So what I did was I took a crumb cake, uh, light crumb cake stamp and blend and just lightly went over the white. So it just removed that harshness of plain white. Now there's another designer series paper this year called Mosaic Mood, which also lends itself to fussy cutting. And um, it's, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it, it really is, it's called mosaic, and it really is as if these have been made with tile. So on each, on this side, these are the tiles. And on this side, then it's just, it's just plain. But you can see that these uh, papers are so versatile. They lend themselves to neutral or, or, or male themed cards. Um, so do take a look through our, our designer series paper and if you are feeling like like fussy cutting them well get out your scissors and um just see what you can do and i'm just going to show you what i mean um with with the, the scissors so if i can see if i can sit down here and just i've cut it out as you can see just kind of roughly around i'm not going to not going to bore you with watching me um, cut all the way, but I just want to give you a tip, which I haven't heard anyone else talk about. So as you can see, I'm moving the paper. It's actually not quite so obvious in this one because it's not a very detailed one to be doing. But as I cut, That moment of silence is me breathing out. This is what people don't tell you. Fussy cutting is also about the breath. And you breathe out as you cut. And you breathe in when you pause or open the scissors again. And what you'll find is that focusing on your breath, cutting on the out breath, opening the scissors on your in breath, helps you to focus on the cutting that you're doing. And you'll find that especially when you're doing intricate details. You'll suddenly discover that you're making it a lot more accurately and it no longer seems like a tedious job. It actually becomes like a meditation. In fact, I wasn't planning to actually cut this whole thing out, but just to show you this, but actually <laughs> kind of being taken away by this whole thing. Um, just focusing on the outline here, focusing on my breath. Hmm. 
Ooh, where are we? Oops, see, and I lost my concentration and I nicked into that feather that's there. So it really is when I'm talking, it's just not working. So anyway, so so that's the tip that I haven't seen anywhere else is to cut as you breathe out and to pause or open the scissors when you take an in-breath and do remember to take the in-breath. <laughs> so what do you do with um, when you're doing the fussy cutting? Well, of course, that gives you a greater variety of, of products that you can make. The what we've, I've got here is um, some other products from the the suite of uh, Bird Ballad. So uh, there is a stamp set and a coordinating die. These are stitched nested label dies. They come together as a bundle. And so when you order with the bundle code, you'll get 10% discount on those. The other beautiful thing that is part of the suite is this tin of laser cut cards. Look at these details of that laser cutting. So beautiful with a coordinating scallop edged flap on, on, the, um, on the envelope that's sized exactly right for this card. Imagine that for wedding invitations or thank you cards or, or just a wedding card itself or a friendship card, a thank you card. Uh, there's so much you could do with these. They come 12 in this beautiful, beautiful tin. So that's what I used to uh, show off my fussy cutting. Um, I took one of them, but you don't have to use it as is. I cut out the center piece of that. And then on the inside, I pasted a piece of the uh, designer series paper from Bird Ballad. And I fussy cut out this little bird from the same piece. The sentiment is from uh, the, the Free as a Bird stamp set that's part of the suite. And I've cut it out with a, a circle die, or you could use a punch as well if you have that size punch. Just made it so, and placed it just off centre, but such that it wouldn't catch on, on that um, piece there. So very well, you said, but where do you put your sentiment? Well, da -da! of course, you have the whole of the back to put that on, to put that on there. And, Imagine receiving that from a friend. You know, it's just... Anyway, you've, you've spent the time making it. Um, and and it, handmade cards, one can't, uh, one can't better them, I think. So, however, taking this out of the centre, I don't want to waste it, throw it away. So I have another card. And I took a, it's, uh, these, these pieces are very vanilla. So I took a piece of very vanilla cardstock, cut it four by four, covered it, um, put a matte layer of pool party, stuck that down with uh, just dobs of uh, Tombow glue. It's my Tombow Dobbs glue. And I cut out that piece and, and, and put that there. The hello, the sentiment, the hello sentiment, um, the nested die, of course, is from, uh, the die, of course, is from the nested dies, and the hello happens to be from uh, To A Wild Rose. Now, you don't have to run out and buy To A Wild Rose because you don't have that sentiment to, in order for just that sentiment. There are lots of sentiments that you can use on your card. Um, to A Wild Rose also comes as a bundle, and the dies with this one, as you can see, they're kind of outline dies, and they will cut out these shapes once you've stamped them but they also have some more sort of detailed dies and a label die as well so again same thing 10 percent discount when you buy them with the bundle code this tin the bird ballad tin with 12 cards inside uh, it, it's uh, what do i say you know you get it's 17 pounds you get this beautiful tin you get 12 cards ready to spend some time hand making and to give as beautiful gifts to friends you if you go and buy a card to the door store it's going to cost you a pound well you've got 12 in here to spend some time decorating but also i made two from one so really it's 24 or maybe even more and i with these ones i have cut out um the you can cut out the outer and the inner of the inner 
right so you really do have a lot of pieces and let me just show you quickly in here what i did with them so i made these little note cards uh, actually these are showing off our new in colors um so straight perfectly straightforward they don't have to be anything fancy or intricate the, the detail the beauty is already done for you and you just add your particular mark and stamp on it um, and then this one here I, that's the outside of the what i've taken away the inside to make one of the others this is actually from hugs from shelly paper pumpkin kit uh, you'll have to come back for another video to see some more about that anyway designer series paper coordinates with our colors and many of them this time or uh, this year are and i was going to show you something here i just forgot um yeah so what i was going to do was i was going to actually do something with these on here you know you can mix and match with all different sweets um and then if you want to on the on the back side of this this is a early espresso you can put early espresso card over here so you don't just see the the uh, the back side of that and then you can put your sentiment inside everything all ready to play please do subscribe all the links that you need uh, to my blog and to my shop are in the, uh, the description below and if you don't if you're in the UK and you don't already have a stamp up demonstrator I will be delighted to serve you please do get in touch blessings have a wonderful day bye for now